Hello from Chinichi.com, this is Mark Josie. Today I'll be reviewing this pistol here. Not a review, but uh, actually a chronograph test video. Uh, so I stole this gun inside a pouch just because it's so good. Okay, take a look. Actually, thanks to uh, Toronto Airsoft here, they gave me this pouch for uh, their Christmas present, so I like it. <laughs> But this gun is not an airsoft gun. This is the Giorgio 947 and now sold as Swiss Arm 947. So basically I have the gun set up right now with a laser sight. See? And also thanks to Air Gun Source, this is one of their gifts uh, for me in the previous years. They uh, give me this Crossman trigger mount uh, sight. Which because this gun does not shoot so like straight with the iron sight it's kind of shooting too high or something so with this here yeah it's shooting too high so with this uh, laser it really helped me aim and uh, so right now the gun is perfectly sighted with the bore sighter and of course we have CO2 and the magazine so basically you use the Allen wrench to unscrew the little thingy just like with all of these pistol I once did a video saying the most powerful air gun, but it's actually not. It's actually the most powerful BB gun, maybe. Uh, pistol, okay? So, because if you modify the drove blackboard, it's going to be very powerful. So, who cares? This is one of the out of the box, cheapest, most powerful um, BB shooter. It's cheap. It's below 100 mark. So, below $100. Now, this is list brand CO2 that we're using today. So pop it in and also we're using Daisy Avanti's BBs so they are really nice the top uh, BBs that you can get one of the best BBs ever by the way let's click on our crony okay so I hope that the mag doesn't leak if it does I'm gonna be really really pissed off so okay no leaks pretty good okay great now that the magazine the gun shoots really hard and I can tell by uh, trying it on soup cans and such but people were not really convinced so here we go the chrono test okay so basically you got a safety here safety okay. safety on you cannot pull the trigger safety off you can pull the trigger the slide is metal the frame is plastic trigger is metal uh, the hammer is just for look and it's plastic so basically the gun shoots like this you can't even really pull it like this there we go okay on safe you cannot fire off safe you can't fire okay great okay so um, there's a hammer inside but this thing is fake so you can basically go like that and it's going to dangling around okay guys now let's take a look at this chronograph test and uh, check it out I'm going to stand because I have to, not going to, stand very far away from the chronograph. I have to stand like, say, um, three feet away to shoot the gun to get the result. Way back I was using uh, LED flashlight shining up the ceiling and I cannot chrono this gun so it's really weird. Anyway, let's check it out. I'll put you guys on the chronograph uh, screen so you can read the numbers with me. There we go. Okay guys, so we're standing at about uh, three feet from the chronograph. Let's check it out. Wow, hi. Wow, 488. 476, high 400. 400. Yeah, as you can see, we got a string of 10 shots. Okay, pull the mag out just for the safety purpose. We got the string of 10 shots and 
low of uh, 452.7, high 488.9, that's really close to 500, an average of 468.8 FPS. So, extended deviation of uh, 12.20, so that's pretty good. Now, okay guys, so as you can see, this is the Giorgio 947, uh, sorry, 941 um, uh, chronograph test. The gun itself hand, uh, is very good in terms of handling and feeling, weight distribution and so on. But, um, today with my test, you may not see it, but here we go. I plugged in some CO2 and uh, it leaked and then there's a the mag that I charged up before and now it was like shooting weird so these magazines they're not so reliable from time to time you need to loop them and so on to your maintenance to make sure they work or else it will leak so <laughs> that's the problem even you don't puncture the CO2 and have this magazine around because it's, it's like a long time uh, sitting there and you haven't shoot it and then it will get dried up and you need to loop it. The first mag I tried, maybe I will cut it out, but the first mag I tried was shooting like 348 and so. So it's like really leaky and really not working. And after I plug in a new CO2 uh, with the other magazine I have, it worked again and shoot high. So yeah, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> so I like this gun. So if you agree, maybe this is one of the most powerful um, BB, BB pistol, cheap ones out of the box. And uh, it shoots right near the 500 FPS range, which is really good for what it is. And um, compared to it, uh, like the class, like some other stuff, like the Beretta Elite 2, um, Smith & Wesson MP40 pistol, uh, XBG and those stuff, those shoot at a low 400, like they shoot about 430, 420-ish FPS. So this one actually does perform way better than those. And if you put it like the price into uh, the consideration, this one is actually quite good. It's just like very cheap gun and um, does the job, have the power. All you need maybe is the laser that mounts right here on the trigger guard and you're good to go. Without the laser, the gun shoots too high and the iron sight won't work, so I don't like that. And other than that, I like the gun pretty much. And as you can see, our chronograph result is there. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye.